Hello, hello. It's been a while. Um, so good to be back. I would say that it's quite sincere. I am really glad to be back, but I am in a bit of a panic and I feel a bit sick and it's been so long. I'm sorry. I will explain that later. Um, first of all, I'm going to explain what I'm doing today to get a bit of mojo back and to um, get creating again. Um, I've watched two videos that is kind of influencing what I'm doing um, and when I say influence and I mean I'm pretty much copying what two people have done to make something because I've got no mojo no idea no creative um, nothing it's gone it's gone I have watched Corey made a fantastic little flip desk stand with tags um, so I'm going to be doing something like that and I also watched Marley Designs and she made some fabulous little tags that she used in her Tim Holtz um, ideology release I believe and I'm going to do something using something very similar to those. So I'm combining these two ideas. First of all what I have done is this was a cardboard box from my contact lenses and I have the start of my little flip stand I have no idea I don't think this is going to be secure enough or big enough but I'm going to use this as a base I may have to attach this to something later on but all I've done is made it I'm going to grab one of my tags I'm using my compendium festive compendium kit I've made it just a little bit bigger than my tags okay so what I've done is we're going to leave that for now. We're going to come back to that. I've cut six of the tags and I'm just going to back these all. Okay, so nerves kicked in a bit. <laughs> Made a bit of a mess of that. Um, I'm going to, now the tags are all mounted. So they're mounted onto card um, file folder and then they're backed with Christmas paper. So I'm just gonna quickly run through the December daily for this year. Last year, I literally lost the whole of December because it wasn't until, I think it was the day before December, I decided to do something every day. I was creating the kit, creating the video, editing the video, getting the pages out there. Um, and I completely lost December last year. Um, shopping, family events, all sorts of things. I just was constantly doing the December daily. So this year, I have already finished the kit. Yay! So it's going to be different in a few ways this year. I've learned from last year's mistakes. I've also learned from things you've said about the December Daily last year. This year it is all tags. There are 24 Advent Christmas tags in the kit. They are very eclectic, very different. You could use them for the December Daily, but you could equally use them for um, journals, depending on the theme of your journal. It's, they're all very different. Um, it's not going to be free, unfortunately, uh, but I'm going to put it on sale in a couple of days and it's going to be super cheap, super cheap for the first few days. OK, so leading up to the December daily, you can get the kit very cheap once the December daily starts and it's going to be full price. OK, so you will never miss a, a page of the kit because you have to purchase it. Um, but like I said, it will be hugely discounted. Um, for a little while if you want to take part. It's also not going to be me filming every video this year. It's now going to be a huge collaboration for Christmas. So there'll be a video every day as there was um, last year. But depending on where people are, I'm not sure what time their video will be going up. Um, but it's all of my design team and a few other crafters that are getting involved. So thank you to you guys, all of you. I'm so grateful that I'm getting some help to film every day for December. So it's gonna be very similar. There's a kit, 
there'll be a video. You can play along with us and make your December daily. I'm going to do a video prior to that, creating my box, because I'm going to put mine in a box like I did last year. So anyway, that's the December daily. Look out for that. More info to come. Um, this is what we're doing now. Tags. We've got the tags. So those are almost ready. I'm going to put those aside and I'm going to bring this back in. Now, I've got some pages printed from my Christmas compendium. These are the two that I've got left because I've used some of these. These are the pages printed two per page. So I'm just going to quickly cut these out. This one is going to go on to the front. Put it down, actually. I'm going to line it up with this back piece that I've cut. I'm going to take my pencil, draw around, and I'm going to cut this out. Make sure that fits. It's not perfect actually it's not perfect i'm gonna flip that i'm just gonna trim this little piece here now let's have a look at this one i'm just gonna hold these together i'm gonna cut this one out too so i now have a front and a back i want to have mine sewn so i'm gonna sew these now so, um, where have I been? Where have I been? It's been a fairly trying few, few weeks, to be honest. Um, a few of you, obviously, lots of people suffer with some kind of issue. Let's just call it an issue. Um, and I have had um, quite a lot of anxiety recently. Lots of things happening. Um, you know, things that I found it difficult to actually work with in terms of creating um you know parents have had covid rained in the dining room um, various other things i'm not going to go into any more detail and bore you with that um but yeah i've just not actually felt like filming and i'm shaking like a leaf filming this right now <laughs> it's i've just got to get back into it so I'm going to glue these on to my front and back. Now I have sewn along the top, but I've tried to sew fairly um, close to the top. My sewing machine is not particularly wonderful at the moment. And it's not just my sewing machine. My iPad is finally, um, it was secondhand when I bought it. And that's now um, very, very off and on. Um, I keep getting the Apple sign, um, which apparently is not good. So that's not going to be with me for much longer. Let's just hope it gets me over Christmas. So I'm going to put that in place. <clears throat> Grab this. A few clips just to keep that there. Okay, now I'm going to put the other one on. The other side. I like my stitching, so I'm going to leave that. Once it's in place, I will... Um, just give it a trim if it hangs over anywhere. Okay. The most important thing is this is flush. And that's not too bad. Okay, I'm going to put that aside to dry and come back to my tags. Now, I do not want my tags to all be this size. And... This is actually going to be the back of the tag. I'm going to have that one as the back tag. So that needs to remain full size. I'm just going to bring my trimmer in. So, yep, yeah, full size, this tag. That's the back. It's going to be backwards. So I'm actually going to be working on this side of the tag, I think. Okay, just bear with me. This tag is going to be my top tag and I'm going to cut it about here. Okay, now you will see and understand why later. <laughs> so I've cut a couple of inches off that. Let's look. Two inches. I've cut a couple of inches. That's about a couple of inches. So that is going to be my top tag. Only it's going to be, they're going to be this way round. But that's going to be my top tag. 
and then these ones I'm just going to trim a little bit off each one cutting a little bit more each time and we're just going to hope for the best because um yeah I'm just going to just going to hope hope it works okay let's have a look at what we've got so back tag there we go they're all just a little bit a little bit different and they're not even they're not even so i'm quite happy with that so that's my back tag then it will be that one that one that one that one and that one so that's what it's going to look like from the front i'm going to keep these pieces because i might use them for something on my ever ever more crowded desk so you can see we've got a bit of a, a layered effect so they are going to be shown on the other side and they will be backwards. So I'm going to grab my Welltail Punch. You obviously can use absolutely any, any punch for this that you have. Make some tabs. Get the little bird's head in there. Okay. So I've got two tabs. And what I don't want to do is have the tab longer than any tag behind it. So I'm going to try that one on there and this one on here. Okay, so I'm going to just ink these tabs and I'm going to ink this tag because this is the one, this is going to go on here. The first tab is going on this tag, so I'm going to give this an ink now. Um, I'm not so worried about inking the others just for a moment. I just want to make sure this one is inked. Okay, so this tab is going to fit on there. So it will be that side. I'm going to glue this on. Um, I don't know if you can tell how nervous I am. It's crazy because I've done hundreds of videos. Um, but it's always the longer you leave it, the harder it is to, to get back into it. And, you know, I had this quite well planned out of my workflow in my head. And as soon as I started to film, it just <laughs> went completely out of the door. So it's not what I was hoping it was going to be. But it's a video. Um, I'm doing my best. So that's going to be there. And this one I'm going to have to have, because obviously I want it the opposite side. So it's going to be over here on this one. Not that it really matters um, once we get the whole thing together because when they flip over obviously the longer ones are going to be at the front and you won't see the shorter ones at the back there we go that's okay so i'm going to quickly ink the rest of these i won't make you watch that's our tags um one two three four five six yeah so that's going to be the front and those are going to be the backs so what I want to do is sew around each of these tags. Um, it's going to take me a minute, so I'm not going to expect you to watch. I will be right back. Okay, I did a pretty horrible job of sewing those. Um, I had to re-thread my machine. I don't know what is going on. but So it will be like this from this side. Um, and then on the back, it will be bigger first. So it's going to be a bit back to front. Before I decorate these, I need to make my holes. So I'm going to bring this back in. Now, little, huh, I don't know if any of you remember my um, disaster with my cinch. What I did was I um, broke the 12th hole. I pulled the peg out and it broke. My dad took it, took it away, took it apart. There was no way to put it back together. So uh, on eBay, I found another one, very cheap, which I purchased. Didn't read the description properly. And would you believe that the uh, 12th hole doesn't work? <laughs> it's, it's got exactly the same problem that mine had. But it has got square holes, so I've kept both of them. Now, this is where it is going to get tricky because obviously I've not done anything to organize this at all in advance i have no idea 
how many holes do I think I might need? I'm going to use a scrap piece of paper. Let's grab. Right, got a scrap piece here. I'm going to cut this the same size as my book. I'm going to have to do this twice because I'm going to have to do it for the tags too. Right, so that's, this is the same width as this. Now I'm going to literally, I'm just going to line this up and see how many holes I think I'm going to get in so it works nicely. Could be four, so I'm going to try and work this out. <laughs> I'm going to pull all of, them, all of these out except these four. That's the centre. I'm going to fold it in half because this is going to be my template. Okay, slide that in. So I've got my centre point and let's try four holes. So I'm going to hold it up against my tag to see if that's going to fit and that is going to fit quite nicely. So that's pretty good. <laughs> let's see if I can what I'm going to do to make sure I get them all exactly the same is I'm going to use my washi tape trick. I'm going to put the template in halfway. Grab a piece of washi tape. I'm absolutely, I don't know why I'm so nervous. It's crazy craziness, I tell you. I'm going to put my piece of washi tape here. Okay. So now I'm just going to hope for the best, really, and put this in. Line it up with my washi tape and punch those four. Now I'm going to turn it over and punch those four. And as you can see, thankfully, they line up. Awesome! I'm going to cut my template. So that's the same size as my tags. Ah, oh, no, hang on, hang on. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Yes. Put that in, punch my four holes, and this is still going to be the centre, and I now need to move my washi tape across, because all of my tags are the same size. Right, I'm just going to go for it, because there's, never going to know, never going to know for sure. So far, so good. My dad tried to explain how to measure and how to make sure I'm getting everything lined up, but washi tape, washi tape is my, <laughs> make a template and use washi tape. That's my method and I'm sticking to it. Okay, I can get rid of that now. That machine doesn't actually work to put the coil in. There's no thing at the back. That I did read. That I did read. I just didn't read that the twelfth hole was, was gone. So you can see all of my holes line up, which it, I've got to say is a bit of a miracle. But they will all they will all line up. Right. The next step is to decorate these now i've already started and this is where um this obviously this is all inspired by the marvelous corey and the decoration of these is inspired by the wonderful marley um, i've made some of these little disc tags and these i'm going to link the video down below so i'm going to use these as a decoration for these i'm just going to find my favorite one to go onto the front Oh, the first of the freebies. Oh, freebies, freebies. That's where um, I've done a sheet of words. Christmas phrases. Um, don't worry, Santa Claus has been corrected on the file that I'm uploading. But these will be, these. this freebie will be in my Facebook group. But don't worry, it will be in the Foxy Rag fairly soon. I like that one there. It's a little pocket. I'm not going to explain how I, how I made them because I'm going to link Marley's video. All I've done is literally do what she did. Only my backing is um, the compendium. It's the festive compendium. Now, I know that might be in the way. Um, that's fine. It'll work out. It'll work out. I'm going to just glue this on here. 
Um, I'm not going to do anything else to that. I'm going to glue it on. That's my first tag. Let's line that up. I'm going to put it fairly close to the bottom. Use some clips to hold this in place. So just all fingers and thumbs. Nervous, nervous. Okay, so that's going to be my first one. I'm going to put that aside. Now, what I am going to do is make a couple of other square ones because um, I need three and I've made one so far. So let's put that aside. Um, I'm going to make one on film and then I'll make the rest off camera. So I'm going to start with a piece of Hesse and this is again um, influenced heavily by Marley Designs. I'm going to grab a green file folder tag shape and I'm going to mount this onto some of my scrap so let's mount this onto let's go green right I'm just going to ink this one we're going to make a little embellishment leave a little bit of an edge around there Probably could have left a little bit more actually. And I'm going to cut, cut around. We'll make this into a tag shape too. Ink this. I'm going to put a little tab on top here. This is just a little shape that I've cut out of the dark compendium kit or it might have been compendium three actually i'm going to use that as a little tab that's quite cute let's glue this in place oh that's green though no i'm going for the black edge i'm going to glue that okay now i have the other video i watched i watched a few um, but I watched a video from the fabulous um, Kerry Fellows. Um, it was her sister Renee. She did um, a new kit called Bits and Bobs. Um, and inside are these amazing tape measures. Now, I printed mine because it's a full page. This is only half of it, actually. Um, yeah, that, you get all of these tape measures. All of these. Um, on an A4 page or an eight, eight and a half by 11. Um, but I've printed them small. And these, I believe, I printed at 25, 25%. So I've got a small little tape measure. Um, and I'm going to put this onto my tag. So I'm going to just cut that at 10 centimetres. Because I want this at the top like that and I'm just going to cut the edges a little bit now this is not going to be perfect but that's fine because I'm going to sew yeah that's not great but that's okay that's all right quite happy with that I'm going to glue this in place I'm going to ink it first I just love this tape measure I've I mean I've searched and scanned tape measure I have but this kit is just so perfect it just seems silly um, so I've got that so far now I have um, grabbed a few red and green labels from my stash quite like the damaged actually that's quite cool yeah I think I'm going for damaged <laughs> That's what I am at the moment. I'm a little bit damaged. <laughs> Glue that on here. Right. And now, um, before I decorate it further, I'm going to attach it to a piece of this. Um, we call it Hessian. You call it burlap in the US. I'm just going to trim. Trim a bit. That will do. I'm not even going to glue this in place. I'm just literally going to sew around here to, to hold it onto this burlap. It's not brilliant, but it's, but it's, it's okay. Um, so this is what we have so far. We've got a little base to build on. 
second freebie. Um, these are actually going to go into my little pockets. Let me show you. This freebie will be on my Kofi site, but it's some little tiny pieces of ephemera, which I will decorate and they can go into your little willy, li, li, little pockets. Okay, so this is the freebie that will be on the Kofi site. I'm just gonna have a look and decide whether I want to use one of these. Actually, they're a little bit big for this. So I'm gonna go back to my, um, these are the dominoes from the kit. Since we're using this. Okay, like that. Give that an ink and grab a scrap of fabric. Very scrappy fabric, this one. Okay, don't need that quite as big as this. Got a bit of that. Glue this just down the center. Actually, I got this bag of, um, I think they're sari threads. I got them from um, my Facebook marketplace. But they are literally just threads. Any threads you have would be fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel that back. Now I've glued it on. I'm going to put a little bit more glue around here. And I'm just going to put some of those threads. There we go. Just hold that down to dry for a moment. Um, and then I'm just going to stitch along this side and along the bottom. And then I'm going to find a little Christmassy paper doll to fit. Perfect. Okay, let's give her an ink, ink her up a little bit. Again, um, obviously watch Marley. Um, I'll, like I said, the, the video will be linked down below. So I'll link Corey's video, Marley's video, and I'll link Kerry's kit down below, as well as the compendium kit, which I've used. Okay. Now the only thing I want to do before I put the last piece on is just cut a bit of this. Tat it up a little bit. Okay. And let's put a word on. Let's put a little phrase on. Let's um, oh let's put naughty or nice on. That kind of works, doesn't it? Um, I've printed my words out using semi-gloss paper. Oh, oh, I love the way that looks. Okay. We could trim a little bit of that. And there we go. And this is the previous one. So they will go on to two of the tags. So I need one for here. That will be a round one. And this will need to be a square. Actually, I like her on there. I like her on there. Although she needs to, that needs to be quite large something, doesn't it? Okay. let's see if I've got enough bits and pieces could do something like that okay I'm gonna take a break and um, just put these together and I'll be back with these kind of ready to put things inside 